Hello and welcome to the Global Fashion Workshop channel. I'm Olga Paukste. Today we'll be talking about dresses. For today's video, I'm wearing my favorite red dress. My mother, Irina Paukste, made it for me, and I like it a lot. We released a video making this dress in 2019. It's called How to Sew a Scalloped Hem Dress. There were three videos about scallop finishing, drafting, and a review of the finished garment. I like this dress so much, and today we're going to review dresses using the 1000 Dresses book. Moreover, I want to answer some topical questions, like what kind of tutorials will you be releasing now? Only dresses? But don't you worry, we'll be releasing different tutorials, reviews, and lectures. Not just about dresses, but about coats, trousers, jackets, and many more. We'll release many useful videos, different designs and garments for any shape and size. By the way, we already have found a new plus size model. She is just gorgeous and I hope you like her. The main thing is that we'll accomplish everything together with you, our dear subscribers. Last September, we released a video recording with Irina Paukste, my mom. Today, we decided to upload a video with me with a fashion book review. We'll mix new videos with me and my mom's video recordings. Today, I need your help. We've chosen some dress designs for today's video, and these dresses are suitable for any size and shape. They're absolutely universal. I need your help. Each dress has its number, so please write in the comments the numbers of the dresses that you like or that you want to see on our channel. The number which gets the most votes will be released on our channel. The book, 1000 Dresses, Irina has released some reviews of this book. She also made some dresses using this book. Maybe some designs will be familiar to you. We chose each dress for today's review carefully. I hope you like today's lecture and dresses. I've got some bookmarks here. Take a look here. Dress number one is made of thin wool or thin cashmere. It's monochrome. An A-line with a design line under the bust. Here it is. And a waistband. The three-quarter length slope sleeve with a cuff. This cuff doesn't stick into your hand. It's loose. A round neckline looks like a stand. It's not really a stand and it's not really a decorative element. It looks like a collar stand, but it's not. The next dress is simple. This dress can be made of a blended wool fabric or wool or a jersey with a one-piece sleeve and a design line along the shoulders, like a yoke. It's also called a shoulder strap. A pretty dress for everyday life. You can wear it with a waistband or without, according to your preferences. I like such casual dresses. You can wear it wherever you go, for a walk, to work, and etc. Dress number three. It's a sheath dress with a design line on the waist. This dress has a detached waistline and a contrasted piping. This is a black dress with white piping on the center front, waistline, and on the pockets too. It looks perfect. I think this dress is suitable for any shape. You can attach a short sleeve or a three-quarter length sleeve. The next dress. This dress is number four and it's a two-colored slim line dress with a sloped sleeve. Look at it. It's sloped so much and quite loose. Here we can see the contrasted fabric on the left and right halves. In my opinion, those colors aren't combining. Burgundy and pale green, it's sort of a pale green subdued tone of color. And here you can see that there's a cut in the center of the front and these wedges slightly tend towards the center. These two pieces are waving when you walk and create this interesting bottom line. Dress number 
The top part of this dress looks like a bolero. If you add a gray sleeve, it will look like you're wearing a bolero with a sundress or a sleeveless dress. But compared to a dress with a bolero, this design is more comfortable. It doesn't fall off your shoulders, and you don't need to take the bolero off. These lines are made correctly and in the right place. When you move or walk in this dress, all the lines look good. I think it's a comfortable and pretty dress. I can say this dress has a yoke that transitions from the armhole to the neckline. Do you see it? Look at this beautiful triangular neckline. You can make it as a sundress or wear it over a blouse, a shirt, or a turtleneck. You can attach a sleeve, a short one, or a three-quarter sleeve, and you can even add a long sleeve if you live in a country or city where there's a cold climate. Dress number six. This dress is like the one on me with scallops, but as you can see, I've got a boat neckline on my dress. This dress looks like a sundress and the scallops are placed along the V-neck. It's also very pretty. I can say it's a cocktail dress. You can attach a mesh into the middle right here, or you can attach a sleeve. There are many different dresses with scallops. This is one of the best designs. You can take a thin wool or any other dress fabric, or a crepe, of course. My dress is made of crepe. Dress number seven. I guess this dress is made up of chamois, a pale green and a black leather. You can also take eco leather or any other fabric. This stand bothers me a little though. This design looks good on the runway, but in real life for the people with a regular neck like mine, I guess it's better to make a boat neckline, the boat neckline. But it's my opinion. If you like this stand, collar, make it this way. Me personally, I don't like it when such fabric sticks into my neck. I feel uncomfortable, but this dress looks stunning. Look at those gorgeous black leather lines. They flatter the model's figure. Those high black gloves match this dress perfectly. You can make it short sleeve too. I think you can make this dress using a blended wool fabric or another strong fabric or two different colors of fabric. Irina Paukste has made such dresses on YouTube. This dress is O-shaped. This dress is suitable for any size and shape. Dress number eight. You can use a blended wool fabric, a thin wool, or a dress fabric. You can also use a tweed fabric. Here we have a decorative dart passing into the usual shoulder seam. It is decorated with black zippers or a black piping. There's one more piping that goes along the center of the front. Look at those patch pockets with the black piping. Maybe it's a lace. There's a big black flower on top. It's so big, we can even see the petals. All this makes the dress look gorgeous. You can attach any sleeve you like. A-line dresses. I think A-line dresses fit everybody. Dress number nine. You can take a linen fabric, the dress fabric, or a thin wool fabric. This is the yoke. Here it is. Let's have a look at this dress. It's long sleeve with a cuff st and style lines here. A tapered waistline, straight cut, and a skirt with pleats. Now let's continue. Dress number 10. An A-line dress, it's a loose fit with perfect wearing ease. This sleeve is slightly lowered. A long sleeve with a stand. You can use a thin wool for this dress, maybe a thin dress fabric. You can take a two-colored fabric, it'll also look good. Or printed, for example, with a floral print. What do you think? This dress 
number 11, is slim fitted, flared from the waistline with style lines. Those style lines move to the stand, to the neckline stand. I like this design. I'll put the pencil aside. You can attach any sleeve you like. It's not so cold in the studio, so I can wear clothes with short sleeves or sleeveless garments throughout the year. I also like to wear turtlenecks with dresses, but you can attach a sleeve to this dress, a regular set-in sleeve of any length. Dress number 12 is not a dress, really. It's a jumpsuit, a wide, loose, basic jumpsuit with a lowered shoulder. The sleeve itself is even more flared, a loose and straight sleeve. It's gathered here and connects with a sloped sleeve. Dress number 13 has a perfect cut. You can take any fabric you like, a thin wool or even a silk. The fabric should be soft, though. It, this is an A-line styled dress with a self-belt, a low neckline, and a one-piece sleeve. But we would need a lot of fabric for it. If you prefer maxi dresses, this one looks spectacular. Dress number 14. This is a dress with lowered sleeves, a straight cut, a boat neckline, and here is an additional detail, a stand made of white fabric. You can make it without a stand and wear something white or wear a turtleneck under this dress. It's not quite clear, but you can do it both ways. Here are the pockets and the waistband. Look, you can wear this dress with trousers or pantyhose or leggings. You can also wear it like a tunic dress. I like this design too. You can re-watch our videos. We've made different garments with a one-piece sleeve. If you haven't seen these videos yet, please watch. They're very detailed. Dress number 15, what do I like about it? If you prefer shirt dresses but don't like making plackets, buttons, and buttonholes, look at this dress with a shirt sleeve. There's a sloped sleeve here, a cuff, and a straight front block. There are some slits as on shirts and a black decorative element here. Look at this half round slit. Here's a black insert and the same black insert at the hemline of the dress. You can use a silk fabric or a thin wool, but this black insert is visible when in motion. Here, the finished hem allowance also has a decorative function, and at the same time with this facing and an additional piece, this hemline looks perfect. If you live in a cold climate, you can take a blended wool fabric for this dress. If you take the blended wool fabric, you won't need to finish the garment's edge. You can use any fabric, a light fabric like here, rainwear fabric, blended wool or wool, any fabric. It can be silk, thin wool, or a cotton, but a cotton dress like this won't fit the same. It'll look a little different. You would make it a classic shirt dress, a classic shirt dress with a collar, with plackets and pockets rather than this dress. Here, due to this coloring and fabric, it's quite possible to make a shirt dress. Dress number 16. This is a straight cut dress, a polo collar, patch pockets, and a long sleeve with voluminous shoulders. Here's the yoke and a gathered bust dart. It connects with the yoke and the collar has sharp angles. This dress is really interesting. You can wear it in any season, whether it's autumn, winter, or spring. A fashionable and universal dress, but it's complicated to make. You can use a crepe or a thin wool for this dress. It can be any fabric you prefer, but it should be a strong fabric that keeps the shape of the dress. 
In my opinion, the most high quality materials are crepe and wool. It's a nice dress and it looks good. Dress number 17. Here is a mark on this page. Irina Paukste wanted to show you this dress. We can make this one together in memory of her. So, a shirt dress with an asymmetrical waistline and an asymmetrical hemline. For contrast, here's a different color fabric added to the other side. I can't say it's too contrasting. A pale blue fabric with a white fabric. Still, they combine just perfectly. We can see that the bust darts here and the usual slightly sloped sleeve. And look, here is the pale blue fabric piece and this sleeve is half black on the other side. It was a designer's idea, I guess. A very pretty dress. The clasp is visible here. It's gorgeous. It feels like it's made as a one piece to the waistline right there, but there are no buttons or visible buttonholes here. It looks like a one piece made with a deep neckline here without any buttons, but we'd make it without such a deep neckline. This dress is more suitable for the runway. It's also a great dress for any shape and size. Dress number 18 a straight cut dress with a fastener on the center front. Here you can see a sewn zipper, a large patch pockets, and an interesting yoke. It ends on the hip line, not on the bust line, as in a coat. This yoke is a decorative element in this dress. This dress is beautiful and fashionable. I can say it's a designer's dress. I highly recommend this dress for brave women who love to draw attention. Dress number 19. This is a casual shirt dress. We have already shown similar shirt dresses many times, how to make it and final reviews. Nevertheless, I still gave my attention to this dress because it is a must-have garment. You can use cotton, a thin wool, or a dress fabric. I would say it's better to take a thin wool or a dress fabric or a cotton and a thin wool. A plaid dress number 20. You can use a plaid dress fabric or a tweed. It's desirable to use a fabric which doesn't fray out. It'll be difficult to finish because there are so many seams. Here's the center front seam, the style lines and a side panel. In each stitch was inserted with such a ribbon of threads. You can see it. The dress cut a little lower from the waistline and there are triangular inserts in all these cuts. It was once fashionable. Those inserts are cut on the bias due to the plaid fabric. A pretty dress. Everybody would draw their attention to it. This dress is a must-have and it will stay in your wardrobe for a long time. Moreover, this dress decorated is so pretty. The decorative element is a twisted silk fabric. It's decorated the neckline and the armhole line. The dress is special for people who love Chanel and plaid fabric, but this dress is complicated. Such pretty coloring. This dress is perfect. Dress number 21 is a slim cut, cut, a floral colored printed fabric with a decorative inserts of contrasting colors at the waistline. There are such decorative elements at the waistline and a patch pocket made of the main fabric. It looks very unusual and stunning, a casual dress for every day. These decorative elements create a fashionable dress out of a floral printed ordinary dress. It's a dress fabric, of course. It depends on the season. This dress can be both for summer season and for the winter. If you make the sleeves longer, for example, a three-quarter length sleeve, it would be a beautiful dress for winter. Dress number 22. This is a jersey fabric, a jersey dress with a zipper on the center front. 
Here we see buttons, a wide placket simulation, and the distance between the pockets is made due to the narrow location, a slightly lowered sleeve, and a straight cut. There are big patch pockets, semicircular at the hip line. These pockets placed are placed on half of the front block. Look at this beautiful round neckline. It is decorated with a red bow. I guess it's made for women who like to attract attention. I mean, oh look at me, I am beautiful and a smart looking woman. Of course, you can make this dress without a bow, but this bow looks good in this color combination. If I were making myself a dress like this, I would also attach a red bow. Dress number 23. This is a complicated dress in the Lacoste style. It's made of jersey, two different colors of jersey, and it has a straight cut. It's got such decorative elements, I don't even know what to call them, but it's an interesting decorative cut. Here the bust dart is hidden, but it's not visible because the designer has made such decorative elements, wide stripes or contrasting fabric lines. This dress is gorgeous. Here are some pleats under the lower strips. These are the pleats on the left and on the right side. Here's another variation in this dress. The clasp moves across the neckline towards the armhole with a zipper. Nice fabric. I like it. Of course, it can be a jersey or some kind of heavy knit fabric. These decorative elements can be called design lines moving into the style line. Here's a design line moving to the style line. It's possible that the bust dart is partially transferred here and here. It looks nice and seamless, but this is a complicated dress, not for beginners, but for people who already have good sewing skills. The dress number 24 is also quite complicated. It has a semi-fitted silhouette and a flippy skirt. Look at this dress feature. Here we have a yoke, a one-piece lowered sleeve, and in the center front we can see a decorative element. It looks like a flounce, the same color as the dress. It's attached to the, to the dress. If we use a magnifying glass, we'll see that the seam, this flounce, is a decorative element for this dress. This dress is stunning and beautiful. You can take a tweed, a dress fabric, or any wool fabric, but it should be a strong fabric, which keeps the shape of the dress. You can take a soft fabric, but you should apply fusible interfacing to it. Sometimes we do the same. Dress number 25, a jacket dress. This is the first jacket dress for today and it's quite interesting. The button stand is made of the black fabric. The button stand is slightly longer here, specifically, I guess. This black decorative element here is suitable for this dress without a collar with a deep neckline. It is also a must-have garment nowadays. It differs from the usual jacket dress. You can take a crepe or a thin wool or another dress fabric. This kind of dress should be made with two monochrome pieces of fabric. Otherwise, there'll be no effect. The whole point will be lost. Dress number 26. You can take a crepe or a thin wool fabric or a dress fabric. This collar moves to the placket. The collar, the cuffs, and the pocket are decorated with this wide border pipe or wide bias tape. I don't know which to call it. Here are also some double welt buttons. We did such buttons in a master class, black double welt buttonhole making. It should be a special lesson. This dress with a wrap imitation. Look at those semicircular lines. There are two options for making it. You can make a one-piece sleeve or a raglan sleeve with a side panel. Both options are appropriate. This dress is also beautiful. I recommend this dress for brave women, but you should choose suitable shoes and a bag for it. It won't combine with sneakers and you should make a perfect look for a social outing. Платье в свет. Платье.
Dress number 27, a slim silhouette dress with a decorative line at the waist and a gathered at the hips. The hip wearing ease is gathered with this line. I mean, here is a gathering on the upper part. There's no darts, a lowered sleeve. What else, a lowered sleeve? It looks great. Such a cute dress for all occasions, especially if you like the midi dress. It looks nice. I think you can wear it to the office, to a restaurant, and for a walk. Dress number 28, a slim silhouette, a raglan sleeve. The sleeve is flared, a beautiful V neckline. The dress has a detached waistline and a beautiful design lines under the bust. Here are contrasting black buttons on the center front. This dress is beautiful and stunning. We should use only a silk fabric for this dress. It won't look good if you choose another kind of fabric. You can wear it in winter, of course. There are so many holidays, the new year, or a birthday party. You can make this dress even for the winter season. Dress number 29. Oh, it looks extraordinary. I hope you can see this fabric and design. I think it's a silk or a satin, beautiful and shiny. The upper part looks like a kimono with a detached waist, but it's not even a detached waist, but a wide stitched waistband and a flared skirt. There are some pleats and a lowered long sleeve, a very pretty dress. Even if you make it using a monochrome color, it would look beautiful. I'll finish today's video with a coat review. It's in the wedding section of the book. Look at this coat. This coat is exciting, but why? The sleeve has four seams, a stud front, a straight silhouette, a style line along the center front. Do you see? I'll draw a little line along the center front for you. Here's the pocket. The style line moves from here to the front of the sleeve to the front seam of the sleeve. This whole part is one piece. I mean the center part of the coat is one piece with the top of the sleeve's front. I mean here the seam moves and the same seam moves onto the back. The same seam moves on the side part of the front block. It is also one piece. It moves to the sleeve's hemline. It turns out the sleeve has four seams. The coat is complicated but beautiful and elegant. It seems to me that we have not sewn such a coat with you yet. I'll ask my colleagues to make a photo of each dress. We'll assign a number to each of them. It'll be easy to choose. You just write number one or number five or number 10 in the comments. Write your comments and share your opinions with us. As a result, you will help us to make a content plan. We'll make two or three dresses for you. We'll be waiting for your comments. We're releasing some videos about outerwear clothing that we're making now. So I'm begging you so much not to worry about the channel. We will draft, cut, and create new garments with you, and we'll continue to share different sewing tips. It's time to say goodbye. Subscribe to our channel and click the like button. All the best from Olga Paukste and the rest of our team. Write your comments and share your opinions. Goodbye.